Welcome back to another episode of The Knowledge Bomb. My name is Nick Fowler, and this week we're talking about cooling. All right, so part of uh, recovery, right, part of this idea of getting the most out of your training and competition, and that's what we've been talking about, is uh, body temperature management. Uh, specifically in summertime where it's hot, humid, uh, temperature has been shown uh, through uh, a whole bunch of data, research, meta-research, uh, meta-analysis that uh, essentially a cooler body will have a higher threshold, right? A higher lactate threshold. So you can just think about if you're overheating, right, your lactate threshold is going to decrease, meaning that you're going to produce lactate a little bit quicker. You're going to hit that threshold a little bit sooner. And so that's not a good thing when we're talking about performance. So uh, temperature, body temperature management is a big, big part of getting the most out of performance, okay? Now this goes uh, leading into a training session, leading into a competition but also post-competition, right? Um, making sure that we cool our body post-competition is a very, very useful strategy, uh, and there's a lot of tools out there. The, the best one I like um, when we're talking about competition is an ice vest. It's very simple, there's a bunch on the market. Uh, they're pretty much all the same now. You're gonna run into some logistics when you're starting to deal with a competition showing up and having to freeze this thing. Uh, and then keep it cold uh, throughout the day. So you're gonna have to kind of figure that out. Maybe your hotel room's uh, close by. Maybe you get a couple of these ice vests uh, so you can cycle them in and out throughout the day. But either way, post, uh, you know, basically post event, you can throw that thing on. It's gonna help you uh, kind of regulate your body temperature. You can also throw it on pre-event, right? As a strategy to kind of keep yourself cool throughout uh, whatever that event or training session might be. So that's a great, great way to, uh, yeah, just get a little bit more out of the recovery post-event, post-training. Uh, also, the, the one that I really, really love the most, and I've actually been uh, looking into it a little bit more over the past, I don't know, six, nine months, is cryotherapy. Now, cryotherapy has a ton, a ton of benefits. One of the biggest ones, other than just cooling, is, is an increase in IGF-1, which isn't really talked about all that much, but it's, it's um, something that's very, very valuable. So when you're looking at recovering, an right, increase in IGF-1 just has so many, so many benefits, right? It's a quick way uh, to be able to cool the body, to be able to induce a um, you know, parasympathetic uh, response a little bit quicker. So um, in the days to come, um, you're just gonna be a little bit more prepared to go into those training sessions, competitions. Now, here's the thing. In competition, it's really not that realistic uh, to you know, basically find and go through some cryotherapy. I mean, you could, but this is more of a maybe a training strategy is what I would suggest. Um, now, for competition, the best one to, to, to kind of adopt as a strategy, I think, is contrasting showers, right? So you have ice baths, which is good. Ice baths can be a little bit harsh. Um, you know, they can be a little abrupt, and so you're gonna have a little bit of a trade-off, you know, central nervous system. Um, it can be a little bit um, of a stress on the metabolic system, you know, just dumping yourself into an ice bath now. Not a bad thing, but when you have an opportunity to do contrasting showers, uh, it's really going to be the best of both worlds. And so what we're looking at doing is constricting uh, the blood vessels, constricting blood flow, and then basically allowing um, you know, that relaxation, right? And that, um, that new blood to come in after that re uh, constriction has happened. Uh, so contrasting showers are great. And so basically, uh, what I would recommend to you is if your hotel room is nearby or you just have access during competition, or maybe even at the gym, uh, where you train, uh, you can just take a shower, take a normal shower, do your thing, and then, you know, towards the end of it, uh, you know, you're gonna turn that, that, uh, that cold water all the way on, okay? And basically until you can't stand it anymore, okay? And then you're gonna slowly turn it back to warm, okay? Warm your body back up, and you're gonna repeat this, I'd say two or three times, and ideally end on a cold cycle. Now, if you're doing this in the evening, it's pretty hard to fall asleep if you're cold, so you can maybe end on a warm cycle. But either way, um, that contrast, right, that hot, cold contrast 
is really going to help dilate and constrict those uh, blood vessels to get bl uh, fresh blood going and it's going to really really help flush metabolic waste aid in recovery and so that's a great great strategy to implement especially during competitions so give it a shot let me know what you think if you got questions put them in the comments section below and i'll try to answer them